Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. Back in June, my brother gave me some locust wood uh, to turn, and I decided to turn a vase from it. However, the wood is green, and so I started and sealed it and put it away, but no, it's not quite stable yet, and I'm impatient. So instead of waiting for this to dry, I dug out the cherry wood that I turned two years ago into rough billets. And for, from that, let's make this little cherry vase. This cherry is wood I obtained green about two years ago. At the time, I cut some of it into long chunks and rough surrounded it. I then coated it with green wood sealer, put it away. Now that it is dry, I sawed off a length for this project. But now I need to true it for the new centers and take out just a little warpage. For this project, I need tenons on both ends of my cylinder, and I can start to work out the shape of the vase. Then part it near a transition in the vase's shape. While I could hollow this with tools, it's just easier to drill it out with a Forstner bit. I'm applying a technique I recently saw in a demo. I'm drilling it first with a smaller bit, then drilling it again with the larger final bit. It seems to help. An air gun helps in blasting out the shavings and a little cooling effect. With the base hollowed, I can now drill out the neck. This is much easier than hollowing the entire vase through a very small neck hole. However, I can only drill out to the smallest diameter, and I like it a little bit lighter. So with this setup, I can hollow out more of the middle with a spindle gouge while I have the neck mounted. I'm also fitting a tenon to the base section. Base section. Finally, I glued the two portions back together again and let the glue cure overnight. Now I can finalize the overall shape of my vase. I need a bead to disguise the glue joint. Then maybe another bead for a touch of symmetry. However, I need to do just a little work on the inside of the neck top. I'm afraid that in tooling here, I could knock the vase out of the chuck because of how much I'm hanging out. This is a perfect situation to, to use my DIY Steady Rest. It is made from inline skate wheels and Baltic birch. Details are in another video about three years ago. The Steady Rest supports the vase while I hollow inside the neck. Then when I can support the neck again with a live center, I take it off. After thoroughly sanding the vase, I'm parting off the bottom. With the parting tool, I'm attempting to create a concave bottom. Then sand off the nub with a sanding pad at the drill press. With a wipe down with walnut oil, my vase is finished. Hollowing made the vase lighter than a solid block of wood with a hole in the top. I did leave some extra wood in the bottom for stability. I'll leave deep hollowing for when I really need it. I credit my steady rest for the vase staying put in the chuck. 
This face was fun and easy to turn. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends, and send me your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video. Please wear your full face shield. Goggles are not enough protection. Until next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.